Hello good dear viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this system of number based equation. We are given two equations here to solve simultaneously. 32 to base x plus 24 to base y equal to 44 to base 6. And the second equation is 31 to base x plus 13 to base y equal to 41 to base 5. So we are looking for the values of x and y that can satisfy the two equations simultaneously. Alright, let's get started. I would like to tag this as equation number 1 and tag this as equation number 2. So I would like to convert all these bases into base 10. So let me start with equation 1. So from equation 1, to convert each and every single term here into base 10, let me start with the first term here. We take 30 and multiply by the base, which is x. Plus, we take 2, we multiply by the base, and we assign index 0, 1. Then we'll move to the next term. Plus, take 2, you multiply by y. 2 times y is 2y. Then plus 4 times y. You assign index 0 and 1. You move to the right. You have 4 multiplied by the base, which is 6, plus for the second digit multiply by 6 again you assign index 0 1 let's simplify we have x to the power of 1 is x times 3 is 3x plus x to the power of 0 is 1 times 2 is 2 plus y to the power of 1 is y plus times 2 is 2y then plus y to the power of 0 is 1 times 4 is 4 this is equal to 6 to the power of 1 is 6 times 4 is 24 plus 6 to the power of 0 is 1 and 1 times 4 is 4. So you can see that from here 4 will cancel 4. What do we have left? To the left hand side we have 3x plus 2y. This and this, right? We only have 2 here and we subtract it to the right. We have 24 minus 2 is 22 and this is equal to 22. Now we have another equation which we can call equation number 3. Then from equation number 2 we're going to do the same thing convert it into base 10. We're going to take 30 here and multiply it by x plus 1 multiplied by x which is just x assign index 0 1 move to the next 1 times y is y plus 3 times y is 3y, assign index 0, 1, move to the right, 4 times 5, plus 1 times 5, 0, 1. Simplify, this is x to the power of 1, which is x times 3 is 3x, then x to the power of 0 is 1, plus y to the power of 1 is y, plus y to the power of 0 is 1 times 3 is 3 equals 5 to the power of 1 is 5 times 4 is 20 plus 5 to the power of 0 uh, is 1 times 1 is 1. So I can see that 1 will take care of 1. To the left hand side we have 3x plus y. If you take this to the other side it becomes negative. We have 20 minus 3 which is 17. And this is equation number 4. So we need to solve equation number 3 and equation number 4 simultaneously. Equation number 3, let me just copy that. This is equation number 3. Let me copy equation number 4 as well. I think we can use elimination by subtracting equation 4 from equation 3. 3x minus 3x is 0. 2y minus y is a single y. So we have y here. Equals 22 minus 17 is 5. So we have y to be equal to 5. Then we can substitute y equal to 5 in any of these equations. Let me use equation number 4. So put y equal to 5 in equation number 4. Equation number 4 is 3x plus y equals 17. For which y is 5, we have 3x plus 5 equals 17. Take 5 to the other side, you have 3x equal to 17 minus 5, which is 12. 3x equals 12. Divide both sides by 3, x will be equal to 4. And you can see that x equal to 4 
and y equal to 5. So the solution is x comma y equal to 4 comma 5. But if you like, you can test this in the main equation. This is the main equation. We have them as this. So you substitute x equal to uh, 4 and y equal to 5 to see whether the left hand and right hand side will be the same. But you can also use these two equations which we have converted. These two equations, you can use them to see whether the statement is true. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.